everyone, it's Eileen here. Be prepared to whip up your waistline with a couple of mat pilates exercises. You only need a mat and a bath towel, a small one, or you can even grab a dish towel. So let's start with the first exercise. Before we begin, fold your towel lengthwise and place it on the edge of the mat. Then slowly roll yourself down onto the mat with your knees bent feet flat on the floor. The first exercise will be the roll up exercise. Grab hold of the towel and hold it at shoulder distance apart. Inhale to engage your core. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Exhale to roll your spine up vertebrae by vertebrae. And continue to exhale as you round forward over your legs. Arms parallel to the floor. Inhale to prepare to roll down. Exhale to articulate your spine back down. One vertebrae at a time. And back to starting position. This roll up exercise is a wonderful way to tone up your core while improving the mobility and flexibility in your spine. The common mistake for this exercise is using momentum to roll up like this. You won't be engaging your core as effectively. Make sure to roll up with control Pulling your navel to your spine and come back up and round forward, shoulders down. And when you're about to roll down, squeeze your knees together, engage your glutes as well as hug your midline to roll down with strength and control. For level 2, extend both legs out, heels together, toes apart in a V-shape like this. And we'll repeat the same movement. Inhale, curl chin to chest. Exhale to roll your spine up with control. And as you round forward, there's a tendency for your upper torso to round over, collapsing towards your thigh. Make sure that when you round forward, keep some space between your hips and your ribs. Pull your navel into your spine and curl forward as if you are rounding over a giant beach ball. Arms parallel to the floor. Then inhale to initiate the roll down. Exhale to articulate your spine sequentially down onto the mat. If you find your legs lifting off the mat as you roll up like this, it means that you are using your hips more than your abs. So make sure to pull your navel to your spine tightly and anchor your hips as well as the back of your legs down onto the mat firmly as you roll up. Let's do the, let's do the last one together. Inhale to engage your core, curl your chin towards your chest, chest over ribs, ribs over belly, Belly over hips and lift out of your hips as you round forward. Then inhale to initiate the roll down. Exhale to imprint your lower spine. Mid back, upper back, followed by your neck and your head. Next up is the single leg stretch. Is another classical mat exercise that will help to tone up your core. Lie your back with your feet flat on the mat. From here, bend your knees into it. Your chest, grab hold of the towel and hold it at shoulder distance apart. Then curl your head, neck, and shoulders up to the tips of your shoulder blades and place the towel behind the center of your head as if you are cradling your head in a makeshift hammock. From here, engage your core and extend your right leg out at a high diagonal. Exhale all the air out as you bend your right knee in towards your chest and extend the left leg out. 
Continue to bend and extend your legs in opposing movement. This is a great way to tone up your core while improving the flexibility of your hip flexors. Make sure to extend your legs up long, point through your toes and extend in one straight line. Keep your hands open wide and shoulders down. Common mistake for this exercise would be your pelvis rotating as you extend your legs out like this. Make sure to anchor your hips firmly onto the mat and squeeze your core to keep your upper trunk as still as possible. For level 2, we add push and pull chest press. Remove the towel from your head and bring the arms in front of your chest. As you extend your right leg out, you push your right hand towards your right knee while pulling your left hand back towards your chest and repeat on the other side. Make sure to keep your towel taut the whole time. This will tone up your chest muscles, biceps, triceps, as well as your shoulders. We have another five, four, keep eyes on abs, three, two, and hug your knees in towards your chest and roll from side to side. For the next exercise, we'll rock up to sit on the mat. With your feet flat on the mat, knees grouped together. We'll be attempting the V-sit Russian twist. Extend your arms forward at chest level, engage your core, and hinge back from your hips to a 45 degree angle. Twist your torso to your right, bringing your left hand towards your right knee, back to center, and to the left. This is a great way to whittle down your waistline as it targets your entire core with emphasis on your oblique muscles. Common mistake for this exercise is twisting from your arms and shoulders only, like this. This won't work your oblique muscles effectively. Make sure to twist from your waist up. You should feel your ribs rotating as you sweep from one side to another side. Then for level 2, you lift one leg off, hover it off the mat as you continue to rotate. Focus on creating one firm diagonal line from the crown of your head to your sit bones. Make sure to keep your chest wide open and shoulders down as you continue. Then for level two, you may switch side. Squeeze your knees together continuously so that you are hug the midline and engage your glutes. Level two will be harder as you are only balancing on one foot and your sit bones. Then for level three, we hover both legs off the mat. This will really work your oblique muscles and you'll feel the burn in your lower abs, your quads, as well as your hip flexors. We have another four, three, maintain tight in the V-shape, two, and lower your legs back down. The final exercise will be Thai stretch. Come into side kneeling position with your knees at hip distance apart and lift your spine tall and reach your abs. Arms by your side and maintain tautness in the towel the entire time. From here, axle to hinge your body back from your knees to a 45 degree angle. Then inhale to maintain the firm diagonal line, axle to hinge back right up. This is a fantastic way to scuff and strengthen your quads as well as your core. Visualize yourself as Keanu Reeves in The Matrix as you hinge back to dodge the bullets. Focus on maintaining your midsection straight the entire time by pulling your navel to your spine. And think about Lengthening your spine as you hinge back 
squeezing your glutes as well as your core and quads to hinge back right up. Then the common mistake for this exercise is rounding in your back as you hinge back like that, hunching your shoulders. This will not work your core and quads effectively as well as it will cause neck strain. Another common mistake is arching your back as you lean back. This will cause the lower back strain. Squeeze your abs the entire time to keep your upper torso flat. Then for level 2, we add front raise as you hinge back from your knees. Then as you come up, you lower your arms right back down. Recruit your shoulders as well as your upper back to power the arm movement. Resist the urge to raise your shoulders up as you lift the towel up to shoulder level. We have another five more to go. Keep your chest wide open. Four, pull your ribcage down. Three, two, and one last one. We hold it and we continue with the front raise exercise. For final four, three, feeling my quads burning, two, and one last one, and hinge back right up. And we're done. Thank you.